And do you want to do like an intro for the whole thing? Do you want me to do my like ad lib? My <laughs> pew pew. Swipe. <laughs> What is good everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you didn't know, Mrs. Terry, oh, I can't even say my own name. Mrs. Teriyaki the podcast is a thing. Uh, today's episode we decided to film it is something that I want to do more going forward. Uh, I'm joined by Mark and Jesse. We are discussing our best sneaker pickups, our steals, how we got them. We're going to be diving into eBay, Facebook groups, even PayPal, sneaker conventions, you name it, we're talking about it. So sit back, relax. This is quite a long episode, but please do enjoy it. Drop a comment below. Let us know what you think of our steals. Let us know about any of yours. Thank you, guys. Subscribe if you enjoy. Peace. Mark, you go. Me? Okay. Um, no, Mark. Yeah, Mark. All right. Maybe if we do, like, one each and just keep going around the circle. I like it. That 70s show style. Alright. The, the first pair I've chosen is topical because the new release just came out. Stop right there. I want to introduce these two fellows to you guys. On the left we've got Mark at 19.85 on Instagram. Amazing photographer. I recently met Mark at SneakerCon. It was so cool to just meet him in person and hang out. Really dope guy. Loves his basketball and his retro Jordans. And then on the right we have Jesse at jro dot underscore. This guy is super, super creative and absolutely hilarious. He's a photographer for Reebok. He's really also into his basketball and retro Jordans. You'll see behind him his 1 through 12 collection. Just please show these guys some love. They're awesome. Thank you guys for your time doing this. Um, it is fun. Okay, let's get back to it. Okay, yeah. so... Olive Acrid Impresso, in my opinion, still the best colorway mm -hmm. of the Acrid Impresso's that came out. Um, so, was this really a big come up? Well, it turned out to be. So, these dropped, and then I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I like them, I'm going to leave it. Sold out instantly, of course. The following week, um, there's a small event in the UK um, called Sneaks and Peaks, which is in Birmingham. So I was there as a seller, set up my table, um, and there's another guy uh, who owns a store. His name is Lawrence. He owns a store called Crep Select, which is in London, which is a consignment reselling store. Um, so he was there, and he, he had um, beads on his table. And I was like, oh, let me have a look at them. I was like, oh, shit, they're, they're really dope, actually. Like, I, I really need them. So... They retailed for 180, I think, 180 pounds. So I was like, what do you want from He was like, oh, 200. And I was like, I don't really want to pay that much. I was like, um, I mean, I'll give you retail for them. He was like, oh, uh, put a fiver in for me. So I paid 185, so five pounds after retail, over retail, a week after release. Wow. Um, and at the time I was like, oh, this is cool, great, like I'm really pleased with them. Then Jerry Lorenzo wore them and the prices just went crazy. Yeah. So within two months, these were going for 300 and then at one point last year they were going for like 500. Um, so yeah, at the time, not much of a come up a week after retail for a fiver, but retrospectively, wow. absolute steal. I mean, I agree. And I, I, think, love them. I think they are the best colorway. Yeah, I think they're the most wearable, and I've worn these everywhere. Like every time I go traveling on, on a flight, I wear these definitely like the most comfortable shoes to walk in. Uh, I've not tried them nice. before. I've everything. Sorry? I've not tried them on before, so I was going to ask if they're comfy. In incredibly, yeah. Definitely, definitely scoop a pair, if not these, then one of the newer colorways. Yeah. I did, um, for my birthday two years ago, a pair of Presto um, Nike IDs with Pendleton, like Pendleton wool. Yeah, nice. And they are so comfortable, and I totally agree with Mark. Like, the Presto is just like a really good shoe but throw it on and just like, it's like you're not wearing anything mad, mad comfortable. Like OG comfortable. <laughs> yeah. 
like right like that. like all these other shoes like that they, they that they've made since that are made since are i think that that's like almost like the, like the blueprint for that like minimal super comfortable leisure everyday shoe mm -hmm. yeah 100 percent. yeah and i don't know what like what it is but like that's so comfortable about it because it really is minimal like there isn't a lot of tech in it um it's they're just super super comfortable um and light it's just they're just brilliant like honestly i absolutely love them and i've worn these a lot they're still in good condition because obviously i take care of my shit um <laughs> But yeah, for me to get them for yeah, like a fiver of retail and to get as much wear as I have, and then for them to suddenly have all this hype, yeah, I'm really pleased with them. Fit, I'll start. Great shoe. Great shoe. Great shoe. Okay, so. Um, pew. Pew pew. pew. <laughs> uh, I was in, uh, I just was on a trip, you guys know this. I went through Germany and then Italy. And actually, that brought me back to a time when I lived in Germany. So I went back for a wedding uh, this time around. But eight years ago, I was living in Germany. Uh, and it had been eight or nine years ago now. Anyway, it's a long time ago. Uh, and I was just really starting to get into Jordans. At this point, I had, I had moved over there, and the shoes I brought with me were Varsity Sixes, uh, Chucks, a pair of just like regular Chucks. I'd rock that with my cardigan swag. Cause this is when like Kid Cudi and like Kanye were like all on that like that type of look. And then I brought I, I brought a pair of Ken Griffey Juniors, the blues that I wore all the time. And like that was pretty much all the shoes that I had. And I was like, okay, I think I'll be able to make it for a time here. I have no money, um, and I can only bring so many things in my suitcase. So within like two weeks of moving there, I go into the main city center. And I walk into one of the stores there, uh, one of the main stores. Well, the, pretty much the only shoe store beside Foot Locker, and it's called Snipes. Have you guys have ever heard of Snipes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually went into a Snipes this time around, too. And they had, uh, I believe it said K, but the K54 Jordan 3s, the women's ones. You know, the, the ones with, like, the gradient thing along the heel, like the black ones? Just sitting in the store. So, anyways, Annie, you should go get a pair. Um, I can't pick them, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> And, and um, so anyways, that jogged my memory. So I walked into this store, and this is the exact time when the Space Jam 11s had released eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. And I walk into the store, and they have one pair left, size nine. So I actually have them over here. They're on the wall. But that was a come up of all time, because I literally wore these. I wore these bad boys. Like, they're destroyed. Absolutely demolished but there's so many there's so many stories there's so many memories associated with this shoe for me uh, we used to practice yeah. we, we our football team practiced in like a gym so i wear these there the grip was spectacular like it felt like felt like uh, like a real athlete like almost like a Deion sanders felt back in the day um and i, I just paid the regular price but they were literally the last shoe that they had of this particular shoe uh, and it was just sitting right there on the wall. So I grabbed that, and I unfortunately had to throw the box out because I've moved the box so many times, and it's so old and moist. It just, like, went... <laughs> but I still have the, sh I still have the flame that shoe Sweet. Yeah. So that was, a, that, was a, that was a really that was a really memorable one for me, and that, that's why I also like to just, like, keep them right here on the wall. Yeah. That's dope. When you find the la la hair in your size, it's meant to be. And it's one hundred percent. And when you're making it, it doesn't matter. It's it's meant to be. It's a sign. It's a omen. Yeah. You yeah. buy it and you sort the rest out later. Yeah. That must have felt sweet. Uh, so this, I don't really know if you can call this pair as like. I come up just because they hit uh, they hit outlets over here. Did they? Yes. Huh. But I must have. I think I paid like what twenty twenty five pounds for these. Yeah. Um. Cause 
They're, that's right, isn't it, Mark? They hit the outlets yeah. for like 30 yeah. quid. So, and I didn't get them from the outlet. I got them from a girl on a Facebook group, and she obviously didn't want, want them anymore. But whether they did or not, that to me is um, a steal. Um, I've only worn these once for skateboarding. Um, but they're more of just like a memorabilia shoe just because of the group and you know they're not I'm not really like I didn't buy them to rock I got them because I love the group and the music so yeah yeah that and was, do you buy a, do you buy a lot of shoes off of Facebook like do you have like groups that you're in on Facebook for shoe copying because I don't have I'm not in any yes I don't have Facebook either. a lot yes. so I feel like that would be the only reason why I would even get Facebook, other than to like message my grandma. <laughs> yeah. It's just one of the only reasons to have Facebook now. One hundred percent. Not your grandmother, like the shoe group, <laughs> the sneaker group. Right. Well, there, are some, <laughs> there are some real, like, real steals to be had. Definitely. Yeah. I probably um, search on there every day. Lines. Yeah. Yeah. So that's be... like they're all like local groups. How do you? How does one? As, a, as an inquisitive individual who doesn't cop shoes this way, how does one even find those groups? Yeah, um, I mean, mo most like magazines or online platforms or even events have their own groups associated with like for buying and selling. So I think Prep City was my first one that I joined. Mm. They have a marketplace. And then you just start finding more through there. So another one is UK sneakers six and seven. So that's just pretty much for my size, which is amazing. Um, yeah, I'm the same. I'm a part of a few Bigfoot groups. So like, yeah, UK 12 plus or UK 10 plus, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. US 13 and above. Um, even which is nice for me because I'm like the smallest foot in those groups, you know. Right. But even some American ones because the stock is different over there. Um, so there's a Jordan Ones group for Europe and for America yeah. and just as many as I can, <laughs> yeah. But I would definitely recommend it, Jesse. Is there any, like, fire protection in those groups at all? Because, like, when I buy stuff off of, like, Braille or if I buy stuff off of, like, Kicks of Five, I've bought shoes off of Kicks of Five before. Like, those twos, I have twos up there. I got those, I think, like, five or six years ago off Kicks Fire and I paid like $95 or something like that. Yeah. They're mad cheap. But you get like yeah. the PayPal, you get the PayPal protection, protection from yeah. the purchase of those. And with those groups, how does that work? So PayPal, but, yeah, PayPal offer you two ways to pay someone. You can pay them as a friend and family, which means mm -hmm. there's no protection. It's sent as a gift. Or you can yeah. pay, you can pay for it as a, a goods and services, which means I, PayPal will totally protect you. But there's a 4% fee on top of that okay but um i have never ever gifted anyone ever it's just not worth it um gotcha. yeah so and i think that is a misconception with people like when you say oh just pay, pay me through paypal they're like well i'm not protected well you are See, that's really good to know i wouldn't even know that myself because like i just actually when we were traveling we had so much stuff and um, when you travel with good airlines, you can have some stuff. But when you travel with Ryanair, you can't have quite as much stuff. Yeah. So we actually sent like a, a six kilo box back to ourselves. Right. And my friend yeah. ended up paying for me, so I just. But he's my friend, and he's already part of stuff. So I just gifted. I just sent it as a gift, like yeah. gift, gift money. Um, but uh, that's good to know, and I think that that's something that like even someone who has like very comfortable buying stuff online. I wasn't familiar with that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Good at uh, teaching people. Oh, this is great. I, I literally use PayPal <laughs> almost every day. Yeah. Like a goods and services purchase of something, either on eBay or off a Facebook group or off sellers on, you know, Noah on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, especially if I'm buying stuff from the States, you know, I always use um, goods and services. Yeah. Um, and that's I know people, and then if I've got a relationship with someone, if I've bought and sold it from two or three times, then I'm happy to gift because, you know, it's good. Yeah. 
the relationship's good, so yeah, happy to do that. But like a lot of these stores, Jesse, they they'll stack their fees on top of PayPal. So like we have an app here called Depop, and it's like eBay for yes. clothes and shoes. They stack ten percent yeah. on top of the PayPal four percent, so that's fourteen percent you're paying fees. So that shows you how good PayPal is because they're using it as their like safety net. Yeah. Yeah, PayPal is super, super good for that. Speaking of eBay, have you guys ever bought fake shoes off eBay? Fake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's too good to be true. It's too good to be true, right? Yeah. 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 Twice. Twice I've bought fake shoes. Fake shoes. Was this recently or is it a long time ago? One was a long time ago. One was about, about 10 years ago. I bought a pair of the black Peyton Jordan 1s, you know, with the gold swoosh. Oh, yeah, I do 100%. I remember Cassie. What was that video that Cassie was wearing? <laughs> I was, I was just going to go and I get those shoes. No, like, I've just done a put well. My friend just did a post about them. Like, they're me so talk, yeah, they're the best. Those, yeah. are, those are like the, the firest yeah. of the Patton Jordan, one, Jordan 1s. Yeah. In my, the Chicago Patton Jordan 1s are flames too. Yeah. But like, those are really flames. I yeah, they are both. But I bought a fake pair on eBay about 10 years ago, and as soon as it came, it was obvious that the size was tiny, uh, like compared to what it should have been. Um, the, they were busted, uh, like just the usual stuff, you know, things weren't quite sitting right, like, you know, the tongue wasn't quite in the right place. and. Um, the height was wrong, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I, I just went through PayPal and got a refund straight away. It was easy. I but think, then, uh, so I think uh, that, like, 10 years ago, because it was for me, too. Like, I bought, remember that, that uh, like, one of the original packs, the championship pack, which had the 6 and the 11, and they just had the gold bits on it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was such a dope pack, yeah. The that pack, like... I still have like I still have very vivid dreams of how amazing that pack is. So I go to buy it, and I ended up paying like a good amount of money for it. But it came in, and like you can just like you pick up the sex, and you just you just know. Ten years ago, you just knew it was so easy. Yeah, yeah. I think it's much yeah. harder. I think it's much yeah. harder. There was this. Um, there was this. I think Vice. This Vice documentary about this dude who makes fake shoes in China. Really, really good video. Actually, Hannah, I'll send you. I don't know if you put like like links to like reference stuff on your notes for this but i'll send that and it was very very eye-opening but like the quality on these fakes now yeah unbelievable yeah 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 a guy who i met yeah. um, 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 was telling me about um this perfect kicks site on instagram um where from what he was telling me essentially they finished the nike run of something in the factory and people pay them to keep the run going so essentially what you're getting are is exactly the same shoe yeah. the the box everything is the same and they really work on these replicas to make them you know perfect um so he bought mm -hmm. a pair of, of sean wotherspoons um, mm -hmm. from perfect kicks and this is about three months ago i don't know if you guys remember but i put in my story he sent me a photo of them i put in my story a photo of his pair and a photo of a real pair uh, the pair that i had and um, ask people to say which one was Will, and people picked the fake one. Wow. Yeah. Fair so nice. I'm not saying that you know, it was that good, it's definitely fake, but it, sure. it was good. Wow. Be careful out there, kids. <laughs> yeah, my story is really good. Like, Go on. Ten years ago, you would have been absolutely, it would be terrible, but like, you know, it was so obvious, but now, like, I'd be I'm much more scared. Like I bought sorry sorry to cut you off, Hannah, but I bought, no. a, pair, bought a pair of fire red uh, fours, and I was like, yeah. "Ooh, I love these. Why are they sixty bucks? Whatever." I'm in university. I think I'm like literally like this is over ten years ago, <laughs> and I was like, "What do I have to lose?" And I, like I paid nothing for them, but like I walked in them once, and like my foot did like this, <laughs> and like as soon as this happened. It just the the toe pain just went. It just like oh, immediately, man. and I was like, hmm. But at this point, ten years, like no one even was really paying. Especially when I was going to university, no one was paying attention to shoes. Yeah. So yeah. you know what? I wore them more than once. 
<laughs> did you did you claim that they were real? No one asked. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Since then, like obviously, like things have changed and whatever. And like the kicks, like shoes have become drastically more popular since mm -hmm. that point. Like at that point, I was literally the only person who would even go on eBay looking for Jordans at the entire university that I went to. So um, it's 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 definitely changed. But like I get, I still get apprehensive like buying stuff, buying stuff online. Yeah. Like, yeah. even from a reputable person, because nowadays, like, people can be duped so easily and so quickly. So you can get 99.9% .9 feedback from a bunch of people who aren't super informed consumers. Yeah. And then yeah. you're going to be like, well, then that's probably real. But, like, who really knows? But then, who really cares? There's the big question. That's true. That's true. I, I think we all care. So, it's not really a question at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I want to share my fake story. Do you want to go, Jesse? Yeah, so, um, okay, speaking of like uh, like other old Jordans, um, do you, I forget the, I'm trying to think of what year it was, 2012 maybe, 2011, no, probably 2011. Uh, this is when ASAP Rocky was just, just like the bee's knees. Not saying he's not good now, but this is when like he was really coming up with like peso, purple spike, all this stuff. And then he puts out the video for I think brand new guy with uh, Schoolboy Q, and they're in a they're in a uh, they're in a pool, and I still vividly remember he's, this is when ASAP Rocky made Black Scale the coolest brand in the history of mankind. So there was a reference like <laughs> it was the coolest thing ever. And then he was wearing a, a bait camo, like, puffer jacket, black jeans, and he was wearing uh, bread ones. And this is, for me, when I was just like, that's, at that time, I would say, yeah, like, 2011, where I was just like, ones are spectacular. Like, absolutely, unbelievably spectacular. But bread ones, like, they had released in, like, 2001. And that's when, he was wearing the ones in 2001 where they had, like, the little chain thing with the jump man, the silver jump man thing. I was like, man, those are so fire. But a couple years previously, the DMP pack had dropped, which was the, the pack with the Celtics ones and then the bread ones. So I was like, man, I need to get a pair of bread ones. I need to get a pair of bread ones. So I uh, just started scouring a bunch of different things, and I ended up finding an eBay listing for the DMP pack. And I was like, I don't really even care about the Celtics in any capacity. Or that shoe, like I just want the bread ones. But I ended up paying, I think it was, it was between like 175 and 195 dollars for both pairs. So that was however long ago, and I still have it. Like the Chicago's, I still have the box. Like I've gotten in a lot of boxes of recent because they just take up too much space. But I still have the flames ass box. That, that box is the greatest box. It's sick. This one's it's and it's in really good condition too. Still. And I just like I, I had I got rid of I got rid of that the the um, the Space Jam box like I was mentioning and it was a hard hard thing to get rid of for me because I'd been schlepping that thing like across the like uh, from Europe to you know, back to North America then from like one province to the next back to the next back over here but it, it just couldn't last anymore but this one's still like super solid so in the in the Celtics AKA the OG fragments. <laughs> Minus this Jumpman logo, are these are still in like incredible condition, and these are like the uh, throw yeah. that I was like, I really don't want these. So for for a hundred and nine dollars, I got two pairs. I got Celtics, and I got and then the breads are up here. And actually, these are just like these are are still in like the heel drags pretty bad, but other than that, like the condition on them is really like really good. good. Considering how much I wore, actually, I'm gonna wear these tomorrow. These look incredible. The leather on those actually looks better, like because it's so warm. It looks yeah. beautiful. It, yeah, like there's like you can see like the stuff, but like it. This is what the shoe is meant to kind of look like. Yeah. I never get upset when when I'm wearing these and like a, like a little scuff happens or something like that. And just like it's part of the history of what it is, and it's not a bad thing at all. But like having both of these for like 190 some odd dollars. Yeah. 
That, and that was an eBay find, actually. Yeah. Very nice. But actually, that was the price they were on eBay for quite a while. I remember seeing that pack for like a hundred pounds, and I was like, uh, wow. I don't know. I don't know if I want a mid. You know, like I really want to. What do you want to get the highs and stairs? But the thing about this mid, and I'll show you. Uh, I have another mid up here. Wow. It's cool that we got the video because now you can see me go up my ladder. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I wish we could just teleport. Oh well. I don't know what I'm looking for. So, the the new loves. Oh, nice. Yeah. I really like those. The height difference is actually pretty substantial. So, like, so like they, they, they called this a mid at the time, but it's very similar. Yeah. To a high. Like, I think that they just, like, it was such an early time for all these packs and, like, these new iterations that they, they called the mid when at the same time, like, you look at this Royal. This is a 2016 Royal. Like, it's slightly higher, but, like, it's almost like there's, like, this is, like, low, yeah. really, like, yeah, low, mid, and then, and then regular. Hi. How many how many lace holes? Same amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's nine on on this. It's a mid that only has I think eight. One, yeah, two, three, really four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's got eight, and this has nine. Sick. I'm wearing it later. <laughs> so, anyways, that was a great come up. Now, that one was a good story, and I got so much wear out of these too. Like I literally just like wear wore them all the time. Because when you look down and you got breads on, like, you're unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, it's, um, there's just something about I, it. I'm waiting for an old pair to come up. Okay, that's the end of that story. Cool. I like it. Hannah, Hannah what have you got? Um, I think it's your turn, bro, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, while, while you start, I'm going to run and go and get those ones. Alright. This is a good story. Oh, so I think you should wait. This is a story about a uh, friendship. Um, did your life get flipped turned upside down? <laughs> this is a story about longevity, longevity. and karma. Wow! Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. There's just like some like nuance about like the human condition and you wow. know. I wasn't gonna go that deep. <gasps> yeah. Okay. So, um, about um, about seven years ago, I had a pair of these. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, great shoe. This particular retro is beautiful. So nice. Not as nice as the OG, obviously. It wasn't made in Italy. Um, but just a really, really lovely pair. And I beat them so badly into the ground. I absolutely hammered them. Um, that about four years ago, I, I, I had refurbished them once and I considered them to be unwearable anymore. So about four years ago, um, I gave them to somebody. So then time passes and about, I don't know, maybe six or seven years ago, I went to my first Crip City, um, which is a big sneaker event here in the UK. And um, there was a guy selling a pair of um, Olympic 7s, um, the 2002 version as well which was dope so I bought them from him and we chatted for ages he's an older guy um, also into basketball heavy uh, runs a team so we were chatting we were the same size and we were talking about you know there might be some other stuff that you feel that I would want etc so afterwards we exchanged numbers and then over time we've helped each other out so he's not very good at copying online <laughs> Um, I don't know if it's a generational thing, 
but he really struggles copying online. So when stuff has come out before, I've been able to get him something, and I've given it to him for retail. Um, and sometimes we've traded stuff. So like I remember, um, he had a pair of, of two lows um, in a shirt that I wanted, and I traded those for the black Roger Federer threes that came out a few years ago, um, plus the cash just to make it up to retail. So. Um, yeah, we've done a few things like that over the years, um, and yeah, Andy and I have, have kept in touch. Yeah, like I say, for probably seven years now. Um, recently, um, I was working down in Kent, and that's where Andy lives. So I met him. We went round Nike out there uh, in the air. We had some food, and we were talking shit. Anyway, we had finished our conversation. We'd said goodbye, and I was staying there, so I went back to my hotel. Um, and I was telling him about some of the um, shots that I've been taking recently, and then and he was telling me how the Chicago one was his favourite shoe of all time. And I said, "Oh, that's mine too." So when I got back, I texted him the picture uh, that I'd taken of my '85 Chicago ones, uh, and it was a photo with other shoes in it as well. And he said, "Oh, that's dope." He said, "My wife um, actually took a photo like this um, for me and put it in a canvas for me for Christmas." So he sent me a picture of that, and in it was these. I said to him, oh, that's crazy. Like, I can't believe you've got those twos. I've been looking for another pair of those so badly, but there's none on StockX. I couldn't find any on eBay. I was like, I can't believe you've got some. He was like, actually, I had two pairs. <laughs> he said, I bought a pair, and then he said, a friend of mine passed away a few years ago, and he had a pair, and he gave me his pair. Yeah, like, wow. uh, when he died, he gave me a pair. So he's like, I've actually got two pairs. He said, now, if you want one, you can have one. And I was like, what? He was like, well, my pair's dead stock. It's never been worn. And he's like, and you can have it. I was like, you, you can't be serious. He's like, no, look, you've done me so many favors over the years. You, you've hooked me up with stuff. Like, I'm more than happy to give them to you. So I was like, super hyped. But, of course, I was in the hotel in one end of Kent, and he was at his house in the other. And, like, it was late by then. It was, like, 11 o'clock. So I was like, well, how am I going to get them? So he had to drive um, the next morning into London for work. Uh, and my hotel was quite close to the motorway. So <laughs> in one of the strangest meetups I've ever done, we decided to meet at a motorway service station <laughs> at 7.30 in the morning before we both started work. Yeah. Um, so he texts me and tells me he's there and I'm like, well, I'm here, I'm in the car park and he's like, you, you can't be, I'm in the car park then realised that it was one of those service stations that goes over the motorway so I was in the car park on one side he was in the car park on the other side <laughs> so I was like, I'll run through he's like, I've got to go, I've got to go to work and I was like, I have too so literally like something out of a, a bad movie <laughs> I ran Ran into the service station. <laughs> he had the box, grabbed the box, slapped his hand, said thank you, took the shoes. We both went our separate ways. <laughs> so, <laughs> this pair of Jordan 2s, completely dead stock, beautiful, that I'd looked for for so long, gifted to me by someone that I met through sneakers, who I'm really pleased to call a friend. Um, and I think that's just one of the ways that making good friends and helping people out, you know, can, can be really beneficial to you, um, especially people who are just in it for the love. And he knew that I really wanted these. If not, I wouldn't have, you know, said it. He offered them to me. He gave them to me for nothing. And I just think that's, that's really special. So, really. You win. Yeah. Look, we have that a winner. Is the you know, karma of friendship. Everything that was foreshadowed beforehand was right on point. That was lovely. It was fantastic. Good job. Warms my heart. Yeah. Shout out to that guy. And it was this guy. year as well. Uh, the crazy thing is, that kind of stuff doesn't seem to happen much anymore. You know, like, nice things like that. It's always like, you might get a cop, but it's a buy off a reseller or something like that. But to find something that you really want, mm -hmm. you know, and to get it for free, retro card as well. Look at that. Look at that. Huh. You know what's crazy, though, is like, so... I'm building, like, in the back here, I'm trying to build my wall from 1 to 30, and right now I have 1 through 12, and then I also have 
I have a the four teams that I got are the exact. That's the first Jordan that I ever had. It was a four team. My dad bought them for me, and I actually played basketball on them. It's the exact <laughs> other way. It's the exact size that I had too, because when I went to the store, they had the youth ones. So I was just gonna get the youth ones. I'm not gonna wear them anyways. I throw them. <laughs> it's all good. But my friend who who runs the sneaker store here, his name is Meech. Meech and I have been, like become friends too you know what i mean like genuine friends like he's my actual friend so i was talking to him i was like meech like i know you have a ton of shoes do you have a pair of sevens that i can buy off of you so i can put them on my thing and keep building my thing and he goes i refuse to sell shoes to my friends and he shows up at my house like four days later with a pair of cardinal sevens they're worn and they're like they're his cardinal sevens that he had but he's like you can have these and i was like thank you so much and like, as a result, like when they do a shoe drop, like sometimes I'll take photos for them. You know what I mean? It's like a reciprocal friendship. And it's nice to hear stories about that, especially in sneakers where that's not the narrative that is typically out there. You know what I mean? But then the more you talk to people, you realize, okay, that actually does happen more yeah. frequently. Yeah. Sure. But I like, think it does happen more frequently especially you know as people build relationship over time and people who trust each other and are prepared to do something for people I guess the same with any friendship if it's a real friendship then it happens yeah, yeah they're given to take and there's there's sacrifices and you do nice things because you genuinely like this person so yeah, yeah. and you kind of understand that feeling of trying to get something and what it feels like to get it well, you know when you get that, like, you're like, oh, my God, this is the best day of my entire existence. <laughs> <laughs> Give that to somebody else? Like, that's, like, that's the world's, that's the world's greatest feeling. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you and I were talking the other day, Jesse, about how good it is just getting stuff in the post just to open up. I don't even care what it is. Like, I just want to be like, oh, flames, like, whatever. It's a postcard from whatever, but it's just like, this is cool. What it's all about here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, seeing as what you mentioned, them, uh, like, and these were a steal, hey. and the story of these is just like your story, Mark. So, you you need to be careful with fakes with those. I, th <laughs> I think I'm okay. So, where are you going? I'm just going to charge. I'm just getting my charger. Okay. Can you? Okay, cool. Um, when was it? It was ten, ten years ago. Um, I, I spent six months in the south of Spain. I went to work with like a football um, mission outreach thing down there. And so the guy, one of the guys there, he had these on. And I, I wasn't into sneakers at all back then, so I didn't know what they were. And I was like, they are, they are something special. Nothing, nothing happened. And then... Uh, about three years ago, I think it was 2015, um, me and my husband took a trip back to Spain. I introduced him to everyone, you know, uh, and I was like, yo, have you still got those, you know, I found out what they were, have you still got those black and gold ones? And he was like, yeah, I think I've got them somewhere. And he has the Chicago's too. Uh, and I was like, oh, sick. Um, like, you know, do you want to keep them? Like, and these are a size seven and I'm a six, so. And it was like, nah, like they've been sat in the box pretty much since then. I think he grew out of them. You know where this is going. And so he's like, yeah, for sure, like you can have them. And I was like, what? Um, and I just felt bad, like just taking them. So I think I paid him like 50 quid just because I just didn't want to just take them. Um, and yeah, they've been sat in the box since then. And they're, pro they're probably like my favorite shoe just because of that story and yeah. the colour and everything. Like, I know paint and leather can like be a bit of a turn off for people, but it to me it just it just works. I don't know. They're really gangster in my opinion. They are. I think they're cool. So and they look dope with like a camo pant or something like that as well. 
yeah. the kid who you saw them on first, you got them from the kid. That's not even a real story. That's he cool. wasn't a kid. He was a man. <laughs> but yeah, because he's not really like a sneakerhead. He must have just picked them up because he thought they were nice. And so he's from America, That's... and he brought them all the way to Spain, and they sat in a box. So. That's incredible. Is pretty the, yeah. It's a shame because they're starting to crack and then that means they peel. Um, yeah. So no, it's good. No, it's not good, Jesse. That's like the depre depreciation of a, like a, a good. Like it's gonna naturally happen over time. Like there's nothing you can do. You just need to just accept it. I know, but it makes me not want to wear them just because mm. they mean something. But, yeah, happy with these, for sure. So, uh, last summer, I went to a music festival for work. Uh, it was a festival called ESC Fest. The headlining individual was Machine Gun Kelly. He's recently been in the news. Oh. Uh, very, very, <laughs> uh, <laughs> very public beef. With another white individual in the rap scene. Anyways, um, Reebok was sponsoring the whole event. Like it was in like Machine Gun Kelly. It was a Reebok guy. I don't think he is anymore. But at that time, like he was one of their their entertainers. So they're sponsoring this event, EST Fest. So I go down there and I, I am the photographer for Reebok for the event. Um, and it, it was super fun. I had an amazing time. Um. I got a, a pop up that Mark's sending me a photo here, but I don't think you are. It doesn't matter. Anyways, um, so that was incredible, but I also planned on that trip that I would then go to Boston with the headquarters for Reebok R and just meet the people who work there, show my face, and shake some hands because it's never a bad idea. And my buddy Steve, who works there, who's like the first guy I chatted with, like who we developed again like a very sincere, real friendship. If when I get married, he's invited to the wedding, and there's not many people coming to it. So we're like, we're actually bros. So I was like, I'll come stay at your house. We'll hang out. It'll be really, really amazing. So that had been planned, and on, I think, Saturday at the music festival, he checks his email, and he looks at me and goes, bro, you're about to have a friggin' come up. And I was like, please talk more. And he goes, once a year, we're, we do a sample sale at work. And like all the just like the stuff, we just put it in conference rooms and people pick through it. And it seems to be the Monday when you're going to be at the office. So, and the craziest thing, and the craziest thing too, is that they were actually moving from this big ass headquarters, which was in, I forget the exact name of the town, but it's outside of Boston. And they were moving into like downtown Boston proper to a much smaller place. Um, so they're trying to get rid of more stuff than they usually would. So there was a few there was a few issues getting me in and that you had to be an employee. But I look enough like Steve, and I look like a really respectable individual, uh, and I could say sir and ma'am when necessary. So I go in there and I give give her Steve's card, and the 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 way it works is you get one bag. It's like a paper bag for forty dollars. And whatever you can put in it, you can put in it for $40. Oh. Oh. You get a second bag for $40. Same size. Whatever you can draw in there. I'm talking about like shoes, coats, pants, underpants, socks, toddler shit, like everything. And then the price break happens at a third bag. It's only 20 extra bucks. <laughs> so... Yeah, I know. It was bananas. So I roll in there and I was like, okay, I'm going to be reasonable and I'm only going to get two bags worth of stuff. And within like 15 minutes, two bags were full. So I added a third bag into the mix. But the amount of stuff that was just there, like I'm talking about like unreleased, and I wish I had this coat with me right now, but it's like an unreleased Russian program puffer coat that's like all orange that's just like, it was, and it was never released. There's like maybe like four of them, and I have one of them that I got from the sample sale. They also had like, they had a bunch of like ventilators, which I love ventilators. Like if you're talking like Reebok, like give me some ventilators. I don't really care much for anything else. Well, I like Instafuries, and I like 
bunch like I like the soul like a bunch of soul furies and stuff like that but like the classics I'm into ventilators but the coolest thing is like all of these shoes I don't know if you can see there but they're all like sample not for resale so I have like I got these I got this like other pack that like just like never ever ever came out and again it's like another one of these like sample not for resales so I have I think oh I got like a, like a hall of fame this never came out either, like a Hall of Fame um, tennis club C thing that's got like that's this. Sick. And they, they never came out either. So I'm sitting on like a bunch of really, really, really random and obscure cool things that never came out. All because of like timing, because I was going out to this thing. And of most of the like the Reeboks that I have, like this is my, my most worn stuff. Uh, and it's, it's fine. Very Awesome. Awesome. Oh, I had to get it home with me. Here's another actually. Good <laughs> so, at the same time as they, I picked up all this stuff, like I said, they were moving offices. And back in the day, Reebok used to make a bunch of hockey stuff. So Steve and I went on a mission for like two hours to find an old hockey bag in one of the other divisions that it would have already moved. So it took us two hours, but we literally found a hockey bag, which I checked with me. And I, I left the country with like with one small bag and I came back with two bags and I was only gone for like however long. But I also only claimed when I went through the thing, I was like, I spent on goods and services 200, 200 bucks or whatever it may be. Because like, why do you have this gigantic second hockey bag? Um, you've only spent $200 on goods and service. And I said, Monsieur, I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> told him this whole story and he was he was like I don't know I don't know to believe you or not but I don't think someone would like make this story up yeah, so like that wouldn't be something you'd be like okay this is how I'm gonna get by this guy I feel like it's only something that actually happened for you to say is what happened so he managed to let me through um, but that was definitely a fun component of, of, of the whole escapade that's really fun I love it uh, so I've just got um, three pairs that I got at events, which I thought were a good example of haggling. Nice. Ah. So I love haggling so much. Like, <laughs> I absolutely love haggling. <laughs> and I love haggling at events because I quite often sell at events as well. I, I like haggling with people who are buying as well. So... If, if people come and ask me how much something is and I tell them a price and they want to they wanna haggle, I, I love that. And I will quite often knock money off just because I love the fact that they want to haggle. <laughs> um, so anybody who sees me at events, haggle with me. Um, but the, so these, these pairs are all uh, results of haggling. So um, this, this pair, um, so the, the Thunder Force, um, these were at SneakerCon, the first SneakerCon last summer, which was actually not very good. Um, but I saw the, these were on the table, um, and the guy wanted 150 for them. And they didn't look like this. They the, they were completely chipped all, all the way around. So I was like, you're not going to get 150 for those. Um, I'll, I'll give you 70. And he was like, you're not getting those for 70. And I was like, okay, no worries. So I went. And done a lap and was gone maybe an hour and bumped into, you know, Maya, as you do, you know, big guys like that who were at SneakerCon. And then came back about uh, an hour later and I was like, what are, you, what are you saying about those? He was like, all right, 100. And I was like, I really don't want to pay more than 70 because I'm going to have to spend a lot of time to, to paint the midsole. And he was like, no, 100, that's my lowest. I was like, okay, no worries. So I go away. <laughs> you can tell where this is going. Go away, come back, do another round. Come back right at the end of the day. I was like, what are we saying about those thunders then? Are you ready for me to take them? And uh, he was like, give me 80 at least. I was like, 75. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so we did it, 75 pounds. Yeah. Um, which was quite good, considering he wanted 150. Um, and I just stripped and, and repainted the midsole and a good move. Um, and the crazy thing is I completely forgot that I had them until last week and I was like, 
What's this for? Oh, okay. I, I literally forgot. And I, I have not worn them once since I repainted them. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> um, these. So then, fours. Can you see those? Yeah. Yeah, so these are the 99 cement fours. I just posted on my Instagram yesterday. They were the first yeah. graffiti I ever went to. Um, the guy wanted 150. Um, again, similar thing. I was like, nah, I'm good. I'd never ever seen a pair of 99s for sale before. In the box, hang tag, everything, even the receipt from when they were bought. And, uh, How much I was did you like, put? 150 pounds, but I was like, no, I'm not paying that. Um, so I mean, like, uh, can I give you 200? This is my haggling skills. This is how I haggle. Let me give you more money than that. <laughs> 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 you seem like a good bloke, as you guys say, right? <laughs> no, well, I, I really wanted them, and there's not many, there's not much in my size, like when yeah. I go to events. So. But I really didn't want to pay that much, so I was like, I'll give you 100. And he was like, no. So again, I went back at the end of the day, and he took 100 for them. Later on that day, I posted them on Instagram, uh, like, you know, Crepe City Pickup or whatever, and this kid messaged me and said, they were mine. <laughs> I gave them to my friend to sell for me for 150, and he only took 100, and I'm pissed. <laughs> That's classic. <laughs> I was like... Well, I'm sorry, like, I just paid what he said. He was like, I'm not angry at you, I just wanted to tell you. <laughs> it's not my friend anymore. I love yeah. that. That's amazing. Uh, okay, so then, and then the last pair, um, this, is, <laughs> this is good. So, um, this is a Sneaks and Peaks, which, again, you know, like a, a smaller event, which is in Birmingham. Have you been to that, Hannah? Yeah, but that was a good four or so years ago. Yeah. Is it still yeah, so Yeah, it still goes on, I think. I haven't seen it advertised this year, though. Um, but it was definitely on last year. Okay. Uh, and the year before, um, when these came out, the Cyber Mondays. Yeah. So, um, as I think you guys know, they, the price on these was pretty low. They, in fact, they went for under retail. Um, and this dude had a pair... Um, and this is when I was uh, selling as well, so I was there early. So I was talking to him before the event, and I was like, "Oh, I think I need a pair of those. Like they're nice for work and stuff." Uh, I was like, "What do you want for that?" And uh, he said, "80." And I was like, "Oh, well, that's good, but I'm looking more 60." So he was like, "No, I'm not going any lower than 80." And I was like, "60, 80, 60, 80." And then he went, "How about we flip a coin?" <laughs> Head is 80. Tails the 60. And I'm like, alright, I can do that. I'll take that. Big Bitcoin, I lost. But mm. I'm a man of my word, so I, I paid him 80 for them. Wow. Yeah, and I was happy with 80. They're, they're a dumb shoe. That's, um. Yeah, you yeah. really like the thrill of the old haggle, don't you? Oh, uh, I love a haggle so much. <laughs> so, Your I, Instagram I should be changed one. from. From 1985 to Haggle 85. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Waggle 85. Oh, oh. Put that in the bio. Will Haggle. Will Haggle, yeah. No, I do love a Haggle. I Haggle online. I Haggle on eBay. Um, but you get some good prices from Haggling. Yeah. Um, and like I say, when I'm selling, I don't, I don't mind people Haggling. I, I like a Haggle. Haggle. What do you call it, Jesse? You don't call it Haggle, do you? Barter. Barter. You don't use that either, I can tell. No, no, heck, it's a word with, yeah, barter, or negotiate, negotiate, or, um, uh, yeah, I would say haggle. That yeah. does definitely, we, we speak a little different English, but haggle is pretty universal. Yeah. Cool. Um, should we keep going? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I don't have any more. Uh, well, I probably do, but that was my, that was my, those are my best ones, my best tales. Um, I guess I'll put these together like you did, Mark, because I got them both on eBay and it just saves time. So, the first pair are the Bel Air 5s. Oh, yeah. Um, they're actually... Good time out on the field. How do you guys feel about, uh, the 5s that just released, the laceless ones, to commemorate 
uh, 50th birthday of Will Smith. Because those Bel Air fives are basically like homage. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the homage. Yeah. But is yeah. the is the is the new is like the re-release of the grapes without any laces a a it's a definitely a different homage. But do you, are you guys co-signing? It's they're cool, like they're cool, but unless uh, unless you're like a, a super fan of the show and of Will, I, I'm not going to spend that money on them. No. Are you just going to take the laces out of your your grape grapes you already have? No, I don't. I think feel <laughs> like it's a really cool idea, and I'm glad they've done it, but. They would have been cool with laces. Like everybody wanted the grape with night gear on the back, yeah. Yeah. So everybody wanted that, and it is a really cool idea, like to pay homage to it. But I don't know. Like, have they tightened up the elastic on the inside, like to make them wear? Yes. Them? Mm. Yeah. 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 It's like basically it's the bond now, because you know how it has yeah. like that that single elastic. I think it's like yeah. stick throughout, so that it's like it's tight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's a cool idea. It's not it's not for me personally, but I think some people are really put it off. Um, I know the guys. Sorry. Sorry, did you guys see the four fours that came out last year? The fours where they did the the homage to. Is it he got game? No, it's not he got game. It's uh, what's that Spike oh, Lee movie? Oh, uh, she's got to have it. Um, um, uh, do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah, the do the right thing with because like. The Do the Right Thing threes, like you guys remember the threes, the, the blue ones, I still want those. Yeah, that's those are so, so fire. But those Do the Right Thing fours where they had the scuff and then they put the little, you know, that was like, I feel like this idea is basically the same thing. Right? But I think that, I think that the, um, the, uh, what's the movie again? I'm, I'm, I don't know. Do the Right Thing. The do the right thing. I think that it's a little bit more. I don't know if it's. I don't even know if it's more iconic. Those? Yeah. Yeah, you can just make that yourself. Yeah, they are crazy. I, I, I like. But those. the whole idea that like the nostalgia associated with it is just spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And it came in a dope pack, and it was really limited as well. Which yeah. again is is a cool idea. And the the limited shoe this time, I think, was fifty pairs. It was a gold version. Yeah. 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 Which for me didn't do it, but I mean Will Smith liked it, so and it, it's about him. And Will Smith is basically 2018's Jesus. <laughs> Ain't nobody Jesus, man. <laughs> well, but if they were gonna write a book about someone from our time, is like the guy who was the guy who like basically was like, listen, these are the right things to do in life. Basically, what Jesus said, he would be the guy for sure. Yeah. Will Smith has been a phenomenal yes, since he's been on, on Instagram as well. Yeah. Like, he was already the pinnacle of cool, and, and now he's on Instagram, you're like, wow, you are, like, all, you are really that cool, like, all the time, and insightful, and intelligent, and inspiring everything yeah. that you could want to be. He's a good dude. Well, that's what makes him so amazing, is, like, a lot of times with celebrity Instagram accounts, I don't follow them, because I want there to be a veil of like secrecy between me, Joe Public, and celebrities. Like back in the day what they like put celebrities on a pedestal is you're like, what's their life like? What are they doing? What makes them different than me? And now you can see all of it. You're like your life is just the same as mine and you're probably like even more of a disaster than I am. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 well like on par, you know what I mean? Like pretty much like same level. But Will Smith like the value that he brings to people's lives in terms of like positive reinforcement and like teachings from a dude who's like really cool, yeah. that's what makes him such like an important person right now. I agree. Uh, uh, he's like the complete, the complete of of it, the of that of exactly. Like, he could be. Yes, exactly. Literally is a celebrity because he's smart and talented and like has a very, very high caliber skill that is that very limited number of people can do. Yeah, yeah, that that amount of charisma which only a tiny amount of people have, like possess. Exactly. That's exactly it. So anyways, yeah. Bella Vibes, those are flames. <laughs> really sorry. Yes. 
Um, yeah. How much were they had, by the way? So they are grades. They're a seven Y. So, but to be honest, the quality is still really good. Um, I I want to say I paid maybe around eighty for them, um, which I have not seen any in my size. Uh, they were lightly worn, but again, for a shoe that you can't find, I don't know. I was really happy with that price. I was just really happy to get them. Um, and, and the good thing about buying things which are lightly worn is you know you'll wear it straight away. That's true. Yeah, that's true. And I love buying lightly worn stuff. Huh? I love buying lightly worn stuff. Like, I think that it's actually, like, a smarter way to do it because it's like, it's like buying a used car. Right, like yeah. you go onto the lot and you buy a brand new car and you drive it off the lot, like depreciates like three, 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 three. straight up. Um, but like if you go and you go to the lot and like there's a lightly used car, you're like, oh man, it's had all its oil changes, it's had right, all of its right. like mandatory stuff. It's it's basically the brand new car. You know what I mean? For substantially less money, some other schmuck has lost out on them. It's your it's your game. It's your it's your it's your win. That's the last one right there. Also, Hannah, I believe you did a photo shoot in a uh, bowling alley with those shoes back wow, in the day. Wow, you scrolled quite far down to see that one, brother. <laughs> no, I think that we start. I started following you at that time. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Props to you. Today, man. OG fan over here. Yeah, man. Thanks. And the second pair is the one that I've already talked about, but I don't think it's going to get better than this, if I'm honest. Um, so they're a teeny bit small, but we can make it work. It's all good. Uh, retail was 180 I believe. Uh, and I remember making an Instagram story about trying to hunt these down on release day in London. Didn't find them, and then... I got the money the fifty pounds. Yeah, fifty pounds. Very good. Yeah. Oh, whenever, good. whenever someone asks, so my my sister has, and there's people in the world who are just kind of like this. With your, if you compliment them, you're like, I love your sweater. They're just like, thanks, five bucks. You know, there's people in your life who are just like the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. amount of money they paid for something. Yeah. It's like, Aaron, where'd you get your new glasses? <sighs> I can't remember, but they were eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, who, like there's just so when people are like, oh Hannah, what's them shoes are spy? You're like, thanks, eBay, fifty dollars. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> yeah. eBay, fifty. Yeah, pretty crazy. I kind of, I guess the story's cool because. It was a lady selling them. She didn't know what they are. Um, mm -hmm. I actually offered her in the DM, like, you know, will you take 80 for them? She was like, nah, I've seen them going for like 300. I was like, okay, I'll wait. I'll just bid. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, girl. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love that so much, and I love that when then when you pay them, I always feel really smug. <laughs> if I've next, <laughs> like, someone's got it on for auction. And then you message them, you're like, how much for buying now? And your and pants are like, their hands. <laughs> <laughs> they're like 150 and you're like, uh, okay, I'll see you at the auction. Yeah. And then you get it for like, yeah, I don't know, eight, 80 pounds or something like that. And then I really feel really smug when I send them the money, like, oh, it's me again, just getting that bargain. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you could have had twice that, but no, it's okay, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> yeah, that felt pretty good, but she... um. I think she was British and she's a photographer who uh, sometimes shoots for them in New York or something. So they gifted her this pair. So. Oh, wow. Happy days. Uh, eBay's not dead, that's all I would say. No, I think eBay, like you've proven as well, in fact we all have, that eBay's so good. Like just this year I got a pair of Pure Money 4s for £31 shipped. Like, it's just so easy. Yeah. I got a pair of Fire Red 3s for £45 shipped. Um, and over the years, I've got loads of stuff. And a couple of times through eBay, I've built up relationships with people yeah. and then got their number or Facebook, whatever, and then they'll contact me when they've got stuff for sale, sure. you know, like people who wear the same size. Yeah. So 
it, it's a really, really good place to get some steals. And as Jesse now knows, all safe through PayPal. Yeah, and like I, I really enjoy it. Like obviously, it takes time. You know, it takes time to search. But I love searching through listings and just chilling out and just scrolling. Yeah. And so much fun. Do you have safe searches? Yeah, I do have safe searches, but I tend to just search as generic as I can for stuff yeah. like this that people don't really know what they've got and they're just putting like Air Force, you know? Yeah. 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 I, when I was heavy into eBay searching, like, I would search Jordan, like, with an A. Right. And, and instead of that, uh, yeah, because people, like, quite often, mm -hmm. you know, get an A and an O, That's the way around and stuff like that, like, so, yeah, quite often you'd find stuff and, like, nobody would bid on it because oh, they haven't been searching for it, that kind of thing. I feel like we're probably all the same in that if, like, we have downtime, it's like, oh, what am I going to do tonight? I got some time to myself. Oh, better go search up some stuff <laughs> online. And just, like, that's actually, like, a relaxing, enjoyable evening at home. Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah, that's Whatever I'm into, like if I want to get some toys, or maybe I saw something cool and I'm like, oh, I want to search and find that. Yeah, eBay straight away. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sweet, yo. Hey. <laughs> well, that was, that was cool. That was fun. Um, yeah, it's always cool. To yeah, that was good. Some good stories. Hear other people's steals and haggling advice from the master. Don't listen. You know why? It's from my mum. I got I got that from my mum. The haggling because she goes to car boots Sunday mornings religiously, oh. and she is crazy. Like she drives me mad. But she will haggle over five or ten pence with people. Like she'd be like, "How much is that?" Like you know, <laughs> duck like china ornament, and they'll be like thirty pence. She'll go, "I'll give you twenty." And I'm like, Mark's oh. name, I just pay the guy. That's what you get it from, loves, Mark. I think it is, but she, not. I never go to that length like Penny, but she loves it. She loves haggling. It's the buzz over of like it. 10 and 20 pounds. <laughs> the best part of that story is your old lady British accent. <laughs> I can recreate that one sometimes, and it's not as good. You know? yeah, that's actually my Norfolk old lady British accent, because my mom is like, quite broad Norfolk. <laughs> <laughs> but now I feel like I'm starting to kind of like really understand it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess um, I would, as we round it up, um, Nike outlets can be really good too. Um, more so, I would say like the clearance, the clearance stores. Is, there's two different types. There's like factory and clearance in the UK. I don't know about. Canada and the US, but the clearances can be just wild, especially if you know people that work there. Um, they're not sneaks, but like, you know what these are? No, they're cool. Yeah, they're cool. And they've got like furry uh, sides. They it's called mock, mock is, mocks or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I paid like 12 quid for these. I, I, love, those, I love those air mocks. I wanted to get a pair back. Yeah, they're the best. Jesse, they're, they're in the outlet near me at the moment, actually, the brown ones. Yeah. Airmark. Airmark. That's it. That's your slip. Yeah. Yeah. They're awesome. And what, nearly like a, ten, a tenner? They should, um, I'm sure they're supposed to how be. How much like, are they? What, how much are they supposed to be? They were like, in like they were like a hundred bucks. Yeah. But if they're in an outlet near you, Mark, you might have to go grab a pair for me. If, uh, yeah, there's a, there's, there's, they've got the brown ones in the outlet just near me. Flames! I was gonna pay full resale for those like two years ago. <laughs> no, I'll, um, next time I go, I'll send you a photo to see what, see what they got. Oh, Flames! This is like the greatest end of all time to like like this. <laughs> come on, yeah. right. Wow, this is how it works. This is how you come up on stuff. <laughs> it is exactly how it works. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. cool.